Greetings, my name is Dr. Kojin Bohanik, and I'm with Arihanta Academy, and I would like to share with you today uh, some information about my Introduction to Jain Philosophy course uh, at our wonderful Academy for Jain Studies. There's a lot of different interesting topics that we're going to cover in this course that have to do with what you would think of as like philosophy of religions, the field of what is behind religious philosophy, looking at religion from a philosophical perspective, and in this case, looking at Jain Dharma from a philosophical perspective. So some of the topics that we're going to cover are about how uh, Jain tradition can relate to other religions in a way that's pluralistic and fosters interfaith dialogue and peace building. But we're also going to look really deeply at the metaphysics, uh, what it is that Jain uh, tradition has to say about reality, what it's like, what it's made out of, what is our place in it. And then also, if we're going to uh, look at what reality is, then we're going to look at um, ways of knowing, the study of knowledge, which is a field known as epistemology. So we're going to talk about the different ways that Jain philosophers believe that they have evidence for what they believe reality consists of, namely uh, the relationship of the human being and our place in the universe. Um, and one of the ways that they uh, validate knowledge is through a very fascinating sort of method of logic that's unique to the Jain tradition that we'll look at in a lot of depth there as well too. Now, part of this also has to do with psychology, psychology of emotions, and um, then how we relate to others in particular in terms of ethics. And then uh, a lot of people don't realize that Jain Dharma has been a yoga tradition for thousands of years and has been a main contributor and influencer of the broader yoga movement that's a few thousand years old in India. And so it's been very, very influential voice in that. There's a lot of different yoga texts that we'll touch on very briefly as well too. And then looking at what it means to free ourselves from the suffering of reality uh, from the Jain perspectives, which is a field known as soteriology. So this is really uh, a, a class on how we can ask the larger questions about life and about reality and our place in it and how the Jain tradition seeks to answer those questions.